playing inside, outside, I mean, good anywhere? Yeah, I mean, football's football. You know, you're still covering receivers. You know, I think, uh, and I played some inside back at Buffalo, too. So it's, it's nothing that I, it's new to me, and I, I accept the challenge, but that's what they want to put me up. You can see the way that Minka kind of works with a bunch of you guys on the field. Just what does he bring, and kind of how would you describe his leadership style? I've definitely taught Mika everything he knows back at Bama, and so it's like talking to myself back there. No, I'm just fine. No, Mika's, he's, I mean, just a leader um, day in and day out. I mean, he's, even when we leave here, he always wants to do extra stuff, like go swimming, you know, to work on our lungs or get another lift in. And I'm like, yo, Mika, relax, dude. Like, I'm 27, you're just 25. And so it's, it's fun being with him again and just the leadership he is. I mean, easy to talk to, easy to ask questions to, as he's always been. And he just wants the best for everybody here. And so just to have a guy like that in the secondary, along with T.E., um, it's definitely benefited me for, for the long run. Have you had much interaction with Brian Flores? And, I mean, I know he's worked a lot with the inside linebackers, you said, but I mean, have you kind of got any experience with Brian at this point? Uh, day in and day out, you know, we have low conversations. You know, he's, like you said, he's mostly worse with the linebackers. Um, but you can just tell how smart he is, just the intellect. And we, I've played against him a couple of times, so he knows how I play. And it's always good to have good conversations with, with guys that, who know you uh, around this league. And so, it's definitely a benefit to have, have him here and help us in the defense.